today, Mayor Bowser shot down claims that illegal dirt bikes and ATV riding is part of D.C. street culture. This comes as more of these vehicles were seen on D.C. streets over the weekend. And for many, it's a public safety issue that we've seen year after year. Fox 5's Stephanie Ramirez live tonight in Southeast with more on this. Steph. Hey, Marina. So I talked to some neighborhood stakeholders today that say it's the arteries that connect D.C. and Maryland where they see this illegal riding activity the most. Alabama Avenue Southeast here definitely mentioned. Rhode Island, another. Over the weekend, we saw a video pop up on social media where the person recording claims a group of illegal riders almost struck a person on H Street Northeast. And in the video, you see an off-roading vehicle hop a curb and then drive down the sidewalk. Here in Southeast, neighbors tell me they've seen these riders speeding, blowing through red lights, and they also say they've seen these vehicles with kids riding on the back. If anything, some are coming. It's going to get far worse. They're going to do it more and more, and as long as they're able to do it and not be stopped by any provisions whatsoever, there's, they know that, and they're going to continue to do that. This ain't like that way out of Virginia, you somewhere in the woods. This is a congested area. Now, these all-terrain vehicles are not illegal to own, but they are illegal to ride on city streets. D.C. police also have a no-chase policy. In the past, we've reported on Prince George's County Police using a type of rumble strip that slowly deflates tires to target these riders. On the other side of this, there are some activists who believe that if city leaders can make room for bike lanes, that they can make room for these vehicles. Those activists claim that this riding is part of D.C. street culture and part of the Bikes Up, Guns Down effort. We did ask D.C. Mayor Muriel Bowser about this today. Here's a response. I don't know why we would say that this is D.C. culture, because I see it all over the place. I see it in Maryland. I see it on the Beltway. Are they saying it's part of Maryland culture? And again, I also see that's where a lot of the dirt bikes are coming from. We have found some success in going after the bikes um, and having people tell us where the illegal dirt bikes are. Now take a look at this here. DC police figures show that the number of illegal riding arrests is down from 2019 and 2018. Not surprising with the pandemic. No ATVs or dirt bikes were confiscated this weekend, but I am told police did recover six of those vehicles as of May 14th. We do know that area police departments are planning to beef up their patrols for Memorial Day weekend. The mayor also mentioned something else today that DC police have what's called a bonus, a bonus to bonus effort uh, for off-road vehicles. This is an initiative that if you call in a number when you see one of these off-roading vehicles and that leads to that vehicle being confiscated, that you could get a $250 reward. Marina, back to you.